Scorpio. Welcome to another love reading of yours. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind this is a general reading. This may or may not resonate with every Scorpio watching this video. Some of the energies of the cards here can be flipped, so feel free to switch the energies and vice versa. And uh, time is fluid, as you know, guys. You could have dealt with this energy or will be dealing with in the near future. Also, if you need a person reading, all that information is going to be down below. There is an equal give, uh, there is a lack of reciprocity, um, there is a lack of equal give and take. Maybe you're expecting an equal give and take of emotions, communication, investment, whatever have you, okay? But something's a one-sided situation is what I'm seeing for this week, all right? All right, if you look at your moment, we have the Ace of Wands in reverse. So either one of you is not feeling the connection, both of you, okay? Or this is just like, almost like a fourth start that you may feel, okay? If you guys have broken up and got back again, then this looks to be like a fourth start to me. Or this is just someone who's not feeling that spark, okay? Again, it could be because there's an equal give and take. There's, I, I don't know why I keep saying equal. There's a lack of equal give and take, okay? Because there is a one-sided situation. There's only one person who's putting in all the effort. And now there is, that person is losing all the interest and passion, okay? Within this relationship. The passion is dying. What is influencing this is the two of cups in reverse, okay? So again, you there could be a breakup or a separation or uh, um, two people not being able to see eye to eye, okay? And that's why there's, it could be also a lack of a new beginning because you guys have separated or there's a breakup again. If you haven't gone through this, there are chances you will. But um, even if this is not a breakup, it's just that there is a separation and you guys are not on the same page because there is... Something that is lacking, that passion is lacking. Someone's not feeling that passion anymore, okay? And again, it could be that one person is just fed up because they gave into this relationship for a very long time and they're just not being able to get to that point when you both are on the same page, okay? There's not an equal investment from you both. What happened in the past with the page of cups in reverse? I think there's someone you're dealing with who is very, very shut off, very closed off emotionally, okay? Someone's suppressing their emotions. Could be dealing with someone who's emotionally very unavailable or someone who's just emotionally immature, okay? A lack of communication of this person is just not very good at expressing themselves. On your mind is the nine of cups in reverse. So this is a situation that is draining you out emotionally, okay? It's almost like your happiness depends on this person, okay? And every single time things go south with this person, it just drains you out completely and you just feel so unfulfilled, okay? It's almost like a wish that didn't come true, all right? The reason for the reading is the tower again. So the reason for the reading is the tower. The tower could be anything, okay? It could be a breakup. It could be an epiphany. It could be a realization. It could just be a sudden movement, okay? Something just that just happened unexpectedly caught you off guard, okay? The tower is a good card. Why? It's because, because it usually cracks down a foundation that is built on a very crooked... Um, it, it cracks down... A relationship or any kind of situation which is built on a very crooked foundation is what I'm getting okay maybe the universe was giving you signs over and over and over again but you were just not ready to listen to it so now the universe stepped in and they've just completely crashed it completely all right so that you can rebuild it on um, a more concrete level okay or with more faith or with more belief or with the truth okay maybe there was some lies or some deception involved doesn't have to be i'm just saying but yeah something happened that's the reason for the reading the root of the issue okay could be a breakdown again could be a breakup in the near future with the queen of wands in reverse there you go i feel that there's someone again who's losing interest and passion in this connection okay again i feel the queen of wands this is someone who was giving a lot to this relationship and now this person is completely withdrawn their energies this is someone who's just not wanting to take action anymore it's like i'm done someone's exhausted emotionally because they could have again given a lot to this relationship and there was a lack of reciprocity back Someone thinks something's a risky business, okay, with a fool in reverse. So either you're not wanting to take a risk with this person anymore or they're not wanting to. But someone doesn't want to take this leap of faith anymore, okay. Maybe there's a brand new beginning for you, but someone thinks it's risky, okay. This is someone who could have had, who has huge trust issues with this relationship. And they've been through hell and back and now they don't know if it's going to be worth the risk or not. In your environment, you have Ace of Pentacles. So you have 
a brand new beginning you have a commitment you have something solid something stable okay this could be a brand new financial beginning but because we're doing a love reading i'm going to stick to the love and so i feel that there is a brand new beginning here there is someone who is wanting to offer you commitment okay with the ace of pentacles here but i think you're the one who feels it's going to be very risky because and that's why you're backing up you're popping up from taking action you're not being as persuasive as you were before okay because this breakup i think the overall issue out here is like the six of pentacles in reverse which is your dominant energy which is like you could have waited for this person to come to the same page or to want to invest in you the same way okay but now you feel like you're forcibly investing into this situation whereas you're getting nothing back which in turn is draining you out okay and again, I'm feeling you're not getting, the, you're not feeling this connection, okay? And it's because with the Two of Cups in reverse, you guys are just not seeing eye to eye. You're not on the same page. The reason for the reading is the Tower, okay? So we'll see what that is. See, in your emotion, this person, whoever you're dealing with, right? You both have love for each other. One person wants commitment, and one, or there's one person here who needs to make a choice. Okay, the lovers is also someone who needs to make a very, very significant life-changing decision. Either this person needs to choose between two lovers, okay, they need to make a head over heart decision, or this is someone who feels that soulmate connection, okay, they feel that you're your soul, you're, you are their soulmate, but at the same time, they don't want to take a risk, they feel it's very risky, okay, they, they're taking leaps of doubt instead of leaps of faith to come and forward towards you. But uh, there's one person here who wants this commitment, okay, it's like you both want this, but I don't know. With the, okay, with the outcome of this judgment in reverse, right? I feel that either there is a lack of con reconciliation or this is more like someone does not want to repeat the past mistakes again. There's someone who doesn't want to give this a second chance because I, I, I'm seeing that this person could have given a lot to this relationship and there was just nothing that got back, that came back. This could have been a cycle that has been going on for a very long time, okay? And it's like, you know, until you don't learn your lessons, you're going to keep repeating the same mistakes again and again and again. So I'm feeling maybe you gave this person a lot of chances and every single time you realize that this was just the same pattern. But again, you invested and this person didn't. You invested and this person didn't. And you tried and felt like this could be a situation where things could change, but things just didn't change. And now you're like, you know what, I'm done. I don't want to give this a second chance. Not repeating my past mistakes again. What is the tower? What is the tower? See, with the knight of wands in reverse here again, you could be dealing with a, with, a, with someone who's got player-like tendencies, okay? Someone who's just not ready to cooperate, someone who's not ready to be, this is someone you're dealing with who's not a team player, okay? This person likes to do things on their own, they don't like to be tied down, a knight of wands in reverse is someone who likes to be free, okay? It could also be someone, you know, who's just not putting in that effort right now, okay? Because they just don't know what they want, okay? And I think with the tower here, you have that realization that, you know what, this person's not going to change because you're the queen of wands in reverse and they're the knight of wands in reverse, okay? So I feel that there's a lack of forward moment here because you're just losing interest because for you, it's like an, an epiphany. I think you've had like a realization that like, whoa, I've given this like a 1500 chances, you know, and this is just not moving forward. This person's just not being decisive. You're dealing with the knight here. You're the queen here. So again, that energetic difference between you guys, okay? A, a, a mature indifference between you guys and um, maybe every single time you guys get back together it's just like a false start okay you think things are getting your way and things are finally moving forward but every single time you give this a second chance and it's like okay now that was a mistake again like one more time another mistake okay with the same person why is the fool in reverse definitely needs to make a choice because this person is very very indecisive you with the two of pentacles someone someone lacks clarity okay someone needs to make a decision between two people again i'm getting we have the with the lovers and the two of pentacles and someone's not ready to take a risk so i feel there's one person here who wants to offer this commitment but the other person out here is just not making a choice they're just constantly juggling two people or juggling a situation, trying to balance out a situation. Or this person is someone who just doesn't know what they want, okay? And maybe there's a realization that the other person has that, you know what, like, you're not making a decision, I'm feeling like a fool. And that's why things are not moving forward. Why 
with the Queen of Wands in reverse. You could be dealing with someone who's very controlling, very controlling, okay? Or this is just someone who has a lot of balls in the air, okay? They're just doing too much. They're juggling too many things and things are completely out of their control. Why the Queen of Wands in reverse? Why the Queen of Wands in reverse? See? Now, you're dealing with someone who's emotionally shut down and not only they're suppressing their emotions and they're emotionally shut down, they're just not taking action is what I'm getting. You could be dealing with someone who is literally pursuing this relationship big time, okay? But now she's not taking action and now she's completely shut down because she's hurt. Could be someone who's in depression, but this could be someone who thought that this relationship once had a lot of potential, but now they don't see that potential anymore, okay? Someone's very upset and very sad about this situation that things just didn't work out, okay? Because with the Seven of Cups here at the bottom of the deck, either someone's keeping their options open or there's just a lot of confusion around the situation. There's a lack of clarity is what I'm getting again and again. Why is the Six of Pentacles in reverse here? With a helmet in a reverse, I think that there's someone who wants to come back now who wants you to let them go. You stop investing into a situation with the page of pentacles in reverse. And oh it's just you know someone who wants to come towards you, but their approach towards you, towards stability, is not correct. It's almost like there's someone who's procrastinating of what they want to do with you, okay, whether they want to come towards you or not. And I think that if you go, if this person has ghosted you, okay, or you ghosted them, whatever, someone wants to come back. Someone wants to come back. But I think with the judgment in reverse, you don't want to give this a second chance. They want to come in idea and I want to offer you commitment, but you don't want to give this a second chance because you're like, I'm done. I'm not repeating the mistake again and again. Because every single time, you know, it's like you, you give this a chance and this person just like completely is all over the place and they just don't know what's going on. This person doesn't know what's going on. You're dealing with someone who's very, very immature. Someone, you know, who's very unreliable and their efforts towards you are very insincere is what I'm getting. And maybe that's the realization that you have and that's why with the judgment in divorce, again, I'm saying it, you're not wanting to repeat the past mistakes. You don't want a reconciliation with this person. I'm getting a sense of I'm fed up, you know? Look how drained out you are with the Nine of Cups in reverse. Because you think this is a false start every single time. Why the judgment in reverse? But with the Eight of Cups in reverse here, see, you, you're holding a grudge against this person. Okay, someone's holding a grudge against this against you or you're holding a grudge against this person. But it's like every single time you guys get back together, okay, you try to get this entire situation in place and then you can't walk away. You give this person a chance. This person does the same thing over and over again, okay? And the more you're doing this, the more and more deeper the grudge gets, okay? Because every single time that cycle repeats itself and then it's like, you know what, all right, and there you go again, right? And then that the grudge... It just gets deeper and deeper and deeper, okay? You're holding, it's just going to get worse. Because then again, with the Eight of Cups in reverse here, you don't want to give it a second chance, you're indecisive, and you can't even walk away. So you get into this dilemma, you know, like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I love this person so much. I want this person. They're my soulmate. This person also wants to offer you commitment, but I feel that, I feel by the time this person comes in, right, with a hermit in reverse, this person could isolate themselves. That's just how they would be. Every single time, you know, like, shit hits them hard and then they isolate themselves. And you're like, what happened? You know, I don't even know what's happening. I mean, you need to talk. This person just goes into isolation. They stop talking to you and you're just like waiting for them. Like, what happened now when you're coming back? And you're fed up is what I'm getting. And now this person wants to come back. And I think when this person wants to come back, they want to offer you something stable and committed. I don't know if you want to give this person a second chance. Because you yourself are unsure. You think it's a big risk. You don't want to take this risk with this person because you've done it a hundred million times and it's just not working out. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.